Hello, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Today, I titled this message on people who brag about greed, selfishness, and being unkind. Wow. Yes, there are those individuals who tend to brag about all things ungodly, unkind. They brag about being stingy, being greedy. They sound something like this. I know I'm greedy and so what? I don't like to share. That's my personal belief and that's what I'm going to stick by. (laughs) Really? Like you've never been selfish? (laughs) I mean, it's fine to be selfish. I'm selfish all the time. I don't care. What? What are you talking about? give i don't give matter of fact people owe me all the things i've had to do to get mine i've had to work and work and work some more i am not about to give anyone anything wow yes but of course this isn't popular for some people right to be this way it's definitely not going to win friends so they are what we call the closet evil these are the individuals that you would never dream in a thousand years but oh they are very much evil their bragging sounds something like behind closed doors or around a certain circle so what i know i'm evil and i don't care I mean, all the wrong that has happened to me over the years, they're lucky that they still got breath in their body. Wow. You see? So, people are going to be evil. People are going to be good. People are going to be whatever. I mean, it takes all types to make the world go round. And so, I choose evil. Oof. You see, this sort of conversation, oh, for some of you all, you know, red flag, red flag, stay away, keep away, don't want to be a part of that crew. But they walk among you and they will smile and they will pat you on the back, give you a hug, a kiss. Will say that they love, but mm -mm, I'm sorry. If your love looks like that, sounds like that, you can keep it. And that's just what the Lord cautioned us about over the years. This is who you are affiliated with. This is who you've been talking to. This is your family member. This is your friend. They don't want you to know how deep the rabbit hole of evil is. But I'm here to tell you that that is who you have been serving. Sometimes the evil within you tends to connect, tends to draw evil because you choose to hold on to certain things because people around you told you it was okay to be selfish. It was okay to be greedy. It was okay to look evil, act evil, talk evil because those people deserve it. And is that what God wants for us, our creator? Some people say, I don't even believe in God. That's why I act the way I act. Okay doesn't matter whether you believe in God or not. He's real and he will deal accordingly. Sometimes some prayers just can't get through to God. Oh, I'm praying on behalf of the family member, the friend. I'm, you know, wishing for the best, hoping for the best. I'm asking God's angels to encamp all around them to purge the darkness and, you know, destroy that demonic entity in and around. And God is not budging. But God, but God, he's not budging. Just like we had to humble ourselves and get to a place where we finally recognized that what we were saying and what we were doing was evil, was greedy, was selfish, was unkind. They have to get to that place too. They have to come with a repentant heart. They have to confess sin. They've got to be brought down low, some of them, for them to finally say, oh, I get it. They have to lose everything, health, wealth relationships God worked on the relationships years ago he said that you're not going to communicate you're not going to sit down at the table with you're not going to give and keep giving and keep giving some more do you know that I hear what they say about you 
Do you know that your money could be best used elsewhere? Do you know that those same individuals, they could be given you? But because of the light that is in and around you and because of the work that I am doing in you, just as they hated my son, they will hate you too. These are real conversations that the Lord brought to my attention back when I was feeling so good about being saved, sanctified, and Holy Spirit filled. He said, oh, (laughs) daughter, you got a lot to learn. You can't just go around here and just assume that everybody feels the way you feel, that they're going to talk the way you talk and so on and so forth. He allowed me to go through much suffering. Some of you all, you bore witness to this and didn't understand. Oh, Heavenly Father, what is happening? Why is she going through like she's going through? Because there's that cutting away and cutting off. There's the long suffering. There are those things that God wants to work within us to make us better people. So that we're not so unkind and selfish and greedy. And God is working on some of you all because conversations like this, it's not reaching you. Mm -mm. Matter of fact, you're going back and forth in the spiritual realm talking about how you can't stand, can't like, and who gives her the authority to speak. The one true God gives me the authority. That pain and suffering over the years that some of you all bore witness to. Talking about she deserve and she need to go through and all this other stuff. That's what gives me the authority. Until you've been where I've been, (laughs) there's not too much that you're going to be able to say that's going to resonate. That's going to make you receive. That's going to get you to want to change. Pain and suffering, pain and suffering. So much of that is going on. God says, stop with your pity parties. I'm doing a work in this person. Stop with your, oh, I'm so glad it's not me. Ooh, I'm so blessed, highly favored. You better stop because you'll be brought down low. And you may not have breath in your body before it's all said and done. You may not be able to breathe on your own by the time it's all said and done. God, he does some things, Lord Jesus, that we can't even wrap our heads around. Just when we think we know, we don't know anything. Just when we think God's coming right, he comes left. Sometimes when we think that we're protected and covered by the blood, the Lord says, "Uh, not right now. You got some work. In order for you to reach the people, I got to put you through, take you through. And we're saying, Lord, this is a lie. I don't know if I can go through all of this. The Lord says, oh, but you can. I've given you the strength. Just as I told the demonic, the devil, you can do everything to Job, but kill him. Mm, Lord Jesus, that's a tough, that's a tough statement to receive. That's a hard pill to swallow. God, the side effects, the things that I'm going to go through as a result, I'm not ready for this. The Lord says, oh, that's why I took you through those small fires to get you ready for the big fire. Evil is at your doorstep. You're going to stand up against evil this time. Evil is whispering in your ear. You're going to say no to evil this time. No, there's nothing to brag about. Especially when nobody's glorifying you. Nobody is around you supporting you on your evil. Nobody's hooking you up, helping you out. Your favor's not getting very far. Hmm. What am I going to do? The Lord says, you can come to me. You can put your requests in my hands you can put your burdens in my hands and watch the lord lately he's been telling me a lot watch no long statements no cautionary warnings no creepy signs visions or wonders watch watch what i can do watch see what happens Just when you want to give up, the Lord will say, watch. Some of you all know all too well. Just when you want to just, oh, I want to pay her back. I want to deal with him. The Lord says, watch. Just when you think that God is going to do something that you've already seen, he says, watch. (laughs) Hallelujah. I got to remind some people of hell. 
because you've been getting a little bit too comfortable in your conversation. There's many a Christian that's in hell. Okay. I know. That's breaking news for someone, but it's not breaking news for many of us. Many a Christian are in hell. Many unrighteous, ungodly, judgmental. That's why I'm not a Christian sitting on your high horse. Many of those sorts of people are in hell as well. Okay. Revelation 21, 8. But as for the cowardly. Yeah, the scaredy cat who never wanted to say anything. Stand up. I don't want to ruffle anybody's feathers by telling them that they're being selfish being greedy being unkind being evil those cowardly people yeah there's a place for them too but as for the cowardly the faithless i don't believe i don't subscribe to i can't yeah we're talking about them too but as for the cowardly the faithless the detestable ooh, you thought that was all fun and games until it wasn't. But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, as for murderers, ooh, that murdering spirit, that murdering thought, the one who actually made good on his promise or her promise, we're talking about them too. The sexually immoral. Hey, I'm a free spirit. I do whatever I want to do. I make people feel good. I make myself feel good. I don't subscribe to any particular sex or whatever else. I'm just me doing me all day. Okay, all right. Enough of all of that. We're talking about you too. Sorcerers. Yeah. Um, that witchcraft that you do. Those magic spells. Those weird things that you do What with what you work with. That would turn some of our stomachs. Yeah, we're talking about you too. The idolaters. Oh, I have all of my statues. I love my statues. I love my gods. There are many gods. I bow down. I receive them. But not the one who created you. Oh, um. anyway, uh, peace, love, and all of that good stuff. And idolaters. Oh, I idolize my money, my money and all that I have, my house, my car, my children are degreed. Oh, mm, worshiping, worshiping those idols. Yeah, we're talking about you. The liars. How many times have they called you a liar? And you know, you told lies and you brag about telling lies. Oh, we remember those days. They put us up to telling lies. Some of those that was close. I'm not here. Tell them this and tell them that. Somebody, ooh, you feel convicted right now. Oh, the lies you tell for that paycheck. Here she on the wall, Their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. I don't think somebody heard me. I think somebody is going to go somewhere else and, you know, play that feel good message. Their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. Somebody better get right right now. All that bragging, all that talking evil, all the greed and the selfishness and, you know, the types of things that I gave you examples about. I need to confess in and repent. Put your hand up. Put your hand up. Lord Jesus. I didn't know. I thought I well now you know. You're responsible for the knowledge that you received. You wanted to become wise. You wanted to receive wisdom. You wanted to be about that better life. God is speaking to you right now. He's speaking to you right now. Got those murderous thoughts. Some folks, as quiet as it's kept, the things that they've done. Lord Jesus, and didn't catch up to them. Wonder who was protecting you. Oh, God's grace, God's mercy. She'll follow you. Hmm. Lord Jesus. And do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. Lord Jesus, the righteous, 
And the devil who had deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and sulfur where the beast and the false prophet, plenty of those on the internet and elsewhere, and the devil who had deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and sulfur where the beast and the false prophet were, and they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Revelation 20.10 The previous scripture, Matthew 25.46, and the one before that, Matthew 10.28, God is not playing with some folk. I don't know who told you that it was okay to brag or to brag on people who like to say crazy things and do crazy things. Lord Jesus, but that's not what the Christian does. Not, that's not what the believer does. That selfishness that they like to brag about, that you heard your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, and so on and so forth. Philippians 2, 4, let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Some folks, they know what the interests are. But they go right past what I'm asking, what I put in the description box. They could be a blessing, but instead, no, they rather keep it moving. They take, they take, they take, and they do not give. Do you know that part of this walk was I had to give? The Lord spoke to me. There were times where I didn't want to give. Some people brag about that sort of thing. I even had a small son many years ago sit up there and brag about how he was keeping money that we gave him to give to someone else. I said, oh, no, you won't. Oh, no, you won't. You are blocking your blessings. You don't realize what you're doing. That one tends every now and again to be in trouble, too. 2 Timothy 3, 2 through 4, for people will be lovers of self, lovers of money. God told us this. Some of you all, you see it right there, right in front of you on a daily basis, monthly basis, annual basis. For people will be lovers of self, lovers of money. Proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good. That's what you're hearing in all that bragging. Treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, shaking that hair around, shaking those behinds around, thinking that they're better than everybody else. Lovers of pleasure rather than what? Lovers of God. God created you. God created them. And this is what we do? Oh, no. Uh, uh. That's why some people, once again, going through like they're going through. Stop walking around here acting ignorant like you don't know why you're going through or why somebody else isn't going through. They're covering up some things. They're telling some secrets to others and then telling some lies to others. Meanwhile, God is saying, I hear your secrets. I know what you do. But if anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, and they do see that, right? But they pass over. They'll give somebody that already had before they'll give to the believers. Before they'll give to people who are uplifting them, encouraging them, and convicting them. But if anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, yet closes his heart against him, how does God's love abide in him? You can't tell me, oh, I'm a child of God. God's love is abiding Get out of here when God's been convicting you on giving your time, your service, your money, shares, likes, comments. Come on. He did it to us and he continues to do that. But yet mm, some folk, first Corinthians 10, 24, let no one seek his own good, but the good of his neighbor. Philippians 2, 3 and 4, do nothing from rivalry or conceit, but in humility, count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also, once again, to the interests of others. What is love? What is love? Somebody says, I don't know. First Corinthians 13, 4 through 6, love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. How many times people call customer service? I want to get my way. Want people to break rules for them. Get mad because they can't get what they want when they want. Start cussing and fussing. But yet they want their businesses blessed. Yet they want their children blessed. Yet they want. But God remembers even the most simplest of things. How people act over the phone and elsewhere. You think God wasn't listening? You think God wasn't watching? Oh, somebody got to confess sin and repent. They want a job or they want opportunities or they want somebody uh, to accept a grant, a proposal. They want somebody to accept a loan. But God's blocking those things because people will not confess sin and repent. And then God is allowing some things. But then that what appeared to be a blessing ends up being a curse. Lord Jesus, love is patient and kind. 
Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. You better take some medicine for that. (laughs) It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. The truth is cutting, but hey, that's what we talk about, right? That's what we stand by. That's what we got to walk in. Lord Jesus, hallelujah, glory be to God. Somebody, selfishness is dropping off of you right now because you recognize yourself in this message. Somebody else, you are called to speak to somebody about their selfishness and somebody else, you're going to watch what happens when the consequences of sin have taken over somebody and you're going to cry right along with them because you know the truth. They didn't want to receive it, but you know the truth. Hallelujah. 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 I love the Lord. I love the Lord. Greedy folk, evil folk, bragging, talking crazy. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Isaiah 520. The fear of the Lord is hatred of evil, pride and arrogance in the way of evil and perverted speech. I hate that's Bible Proverbs 813. Do not be overcome by evil, right? Evil all around you, seeing evil, hearing evil. Don't be overcome because sometimes you are in a setting right now where, oh, it's getting next to me. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Romans 12, 21. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Come on, that's somebody you know you're going through right now. You can't tell your business, but we'll tell it. Even though you're walking through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil for who's with you. God is with you. Come on, your rod, your staff. What is it supposed to do? It's supposed to comfort you. Psalm 23, 4. Lord Jesus, come on. I had to encourage somebody. That message was directly (laughs) dedicated to you. Romans 12, 19, beloved, near, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord, and God is repaying. We are not wrestling against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness. Understand that it's not always about your five senses and what you see here, whatever else, and what you personally believe. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. That's Ephesians six twelve, And before that, Romans twelve nineteen. Lord Jesus do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. 1 Corinthians 15, 33. So that one who's bragging, we can't stay in her presence when she's talking evil, acting evil, bragging about her evil. We can't stay in the presence of that man who sits up there and brags about all of what he got and how he don't want to help other people. We can't sit in the presence of the group who all they talk about is what we going to get, what we want, and no, I'm not going to do, and all this other stuff. We cannot, we cannot. We ask that the Lord remove us from settings where people are talking like this, acting like this, putting pressure on us to behave in these ways. Lord Jesus, people who want us to compromise, all of that. Lord Jesus, remove us away from people like this. Block them from calling us. Block them from seeing us. Let us be like an invisible entity where they won't even see us in a crowd of strangers. Lord Jesus, he missed Hallelujah. And Lord Jesus, put in us that repentant heart. That heart, Lord Jesus, that confesses sin and wants to change in Jesus mighty name. Somebody be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. We cast out that demonic spirit of selfishness and greed and evil. You are not welcome in this listener's life. You are not welcome, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, we call on the Lord to just remove that demonic entity out. God is welcome, of course, but the demonic is not. Thank you, O oh Heavenly Father, for what you're about to do. Remove Satan and his being beings. Lift up holy hands and receive what God wants to do in your life. I thank you for what you're about to do. Once again, Lord, 
Hallelujah. Oh, all praises go to him. All glory goes to him. All honor goes to him. He's the one who created you. He's the one who knows more about you than any of us could ever know about you. And he's the one that wants you to be in heaven, <laughs> not in hell. Blessings to you. Please do check the description box for anything that is of interest. You've been listening to YouTube and I'm Enterprise 7. Thank you.